All right, I think we're I think we're actually live. So I have how you guys doing today? Um I hope everybody's great. Do me a favor if you can, let me know if you can hear me because I have this new program and I'm actually live streaming on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Um <clears throat> so I wanted to do this here today because I'm actually I have a I have some acrylic stuff down here that I'm going to I just want to make something simple and I'm just probably going to use maybe just one brush. I wanted to use this as a um as like a demo type of a video and if this goes well then maybe you know maybe we can do like a more like an in-depth acrylic cuz a lot of people had asked me for some acrylic you know acrylic videos and I I think this would be a pretty good subject for somebody just trying to you know kind of get their you know um you know, just kind of get off the ground and get going. I'm just looking at the comments. Just give me a second. I just want to make sure everything is everything is working right. I spent the better part of the last three, almost four hours, uh, just setting everything up and just trying to get familiar with it. Good. Okay. So, all right. So the YouTube chat looks like it sounds good, loud and clear. I did buy a new microphone. Um, well, it's about a week ago, and I haven't done any Facebook live videos, so anybody that's watching on Facebook, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully everything looks good and sounds good and all that stuff. So I'm just going to just wait just a second, just get my stuff ready here, which it's almost all the way ready, and then, uh, you know, I'll get started. This this won't be long. Um, super, super simple. Just a nice little, nice little tree with one brush. You know, got a cup of water here. Actually, before the video started, I was like trying, uh, when the countdown was happening, I have two cups down here. I have one cup of coffee, and then I have the other cup of like acrylic paint water. And I was paying attention to the, to the uh, computer screen, and I picked the wrong cup up, and I drank some milky, uh, milky water. Wasn't that bad. So if any of you guys want to share the video, go ahead, you know, you can share it if you'd like. I think it'd be fun to paint a picture with, uh, with one brush. What do you think? Streaming is good. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's what I was waiting for before we got started. I just want to make sure the stream is, is looking good and sounding good because I didn't even know that you could live stream on two different platforms at the same time. I had no idea you could do that. So I'm excited about that. I'm just trying to get everybody set up so I can actually see everybody. Okay, so I got the Facebook chat. I got the YouTube chat. How's everybody holding up? I hope everybody's holding up all right. This is the right cup. All right. So I got a cup of water here, right? And um, I don't really, you know, I don't really know much about acrylics, but I'm just going to make something. So it should be fun. Um, I hate to ask all the questions, but does, is the lighting okay? Like, is there, is that seem like enough light for you guys? Cause I can turn it up and I can turn it down. I have a light over here on this side and I have a light on the other side. And I tried to place them to where you're not going to get this horrible, ugly shadow. Like, so when I put this up here, the shadow is kind of going on the bottom, which shouldn't, you know, affect what you're seeing. Turn up just a bit. All right. Turn the, turn the light up. All right. Let me just, just, I'm going to turn the light up just a little bit. I just saw somebody or a couple people wrote that. Hold on. One second. That's bright. Whew. There we go. All right. That's, that's super bright. That's probably going to make a big difference. So if I, I may start to lose my voice, um, 
possibly. I've been talking excessively for the last three days and uh, starting to lose my voice, but it's not from a sickness or anything like that. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I don't really know much about acrylic because I use oil all the time. So I'm going to just do whatever, you know, whatever I think, you know, whatever I think is going to work. And it's either going to work or it's not. You're going to know at the same time that I find out. Yeah, I spent, I spent a ridiculous amount of time trying, you know, not just today, but the last eight months trying to make everything look right. When I probably should have just focused more on what's up here rather than what's around, you know what I mean? I always, uh, I'm always so worried about how everything looks and except for the picture that I'm making. I, mean, I never worry about that. I'm putting water on here. Um, why? I'm thinking like, you know, I'm thinking the water is going to act as like a, maybe like a medium. It's going to just kind of help some of the paint slide around. I'm just thinking about like a super really easy, like a scene. I, I like trees, like big trees. So maybe we'll, we'll do that. And this, uh, this canvas that I have here, it's actually, it's like, it has a lot of grain in it. It's a sunbelt canvas. So they're actually very good. Uh, they're, they're actually very good canvases. And, uh, trying to remember where they come out of but anyhow they're very good canvases and uh, those are the ones I always use I don't put any kind of like uh, gesso on them or anything just straight out of the UPS box and up here they go this is a 12 by 16 12 by 16 so yeah I thought it would be cool I'm going to next door here you know just in case I need it so and this water is like really just like soaking in here pretty good. And uh, it'll stay, it'll, um, it's like this linen, so it'll probably stay wet for a little bit. All right. <clears throat> Let me look down here and check on the stream. If you guys want to share this, feel free. Go ahead, share it. I'm trying to figure out if I should, you know, um, do these, uh, you know, a couple days a week. There's, there's a couple of other artists that are, uh, that are also, you know doing them which is pretty cool so it'd probably be nice to like you know coordinate like who's doing a live stream what day so this way everybody really benefits from it we have um different live streams different people different days everybody wins all right i'm gonna grab it's gonna take some strip just white you're not gonna i mean the first couple things i don't even think you're gonna be able to see what i'm doing um, so this is just white acrylic paint and I'm, I put water on and then I'm putting white acrylic paint over top of this. And I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but I was thinking like, you know, everybody knows, well, water thins down acrylic paint. So I put water up here first and then I'm putting this white on and hopefully that's going to let me do what I need to do when I try to get a nice little blend going. You know what I mean? So I'll probably go almost to the top. And I'm just let me know if the uh if the microphone's too if it's too like arrogant sounding or too loud. I'm pretty I'm within like a couple of inches of it from it. I've mounted it. It's like I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can just sort of see it. But I, yeah, I thought this would be cool to do. Ain't really much else to do. So I'm just curious, the people that's on Facebook, where are you watching from? Yeah, this is a smaller canvas. It, it's a 12 by 16. I just thought it would be better to, use, you know, smaller acrylics dry pretty quickly. So I, I was hoping that I'd have a little bit better, better control with a smaller canvas. All right. Just about done with that. A little bit more on there.
you see me looking down i'm just making sure that i have to keep looking to make sure nothing, nothing's actually like cutting out all right so i have a lot of acrylic paint right here i've been spreading it on pretty much right to the top just gonna get a little bit more up there and then i'm gonna i'm just gonna hit this with some blue paint And see what happens. All right, let me grab these paper towels. All right. So I'm just going to try to make a nice sky. I'm thinking like there's going to be some ground here. Trees going to just be boom, just kind of growing. So I'm going to take. I have like uh, I have. I'll call. I have Prussian blue right here. I have ivory black, burn umber, sap green. I have yellow ochre and cad yellow, all in acrylic colors. Blue. Yeah, this looks. Yep. Okay. So far, it's working. Want it to be dark up here. Dark at the top. <clears throat> and then I was hoping by putting that water on it in the acrylic, I was hoping that I can get it to soften up as I'm coming down. That's what my hope was. Seems to be doing all right so far. Just grabbing more paint. Just working it around. So for all the people that paint with oil all the time, when I put the water on, put the water and then I put the white acrylic on top of that, it's sort of in my in my mind it made like a like a liquid white type of medium or whatever. And that's just allowing this to, you know, get nice and uh, nice and blended. right down to there somewhere like that yeah this is actually working pretty good surprisingly um i thought this was going to like really like tack up really really fast and it's it's actually pretty wet maybe i put too much water that's cool though because it'll it'll still dry probably in five or six minutes but or start to get real tacky i want it to be super light down here i'm not worried about none of this here I'm going to darken it just a little bit more on the top. Get a little bit more depth in there. And uh, when these, when this, when this stream is done, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be back up on Facebook and, and YouTube. So if there's any like important questions, you know, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely go back and, and answer them. Um, so don't think I'm leaving you out or whatever. It's very, it's a very weird angle for me to like look down. I'm trying to glance down to make sure the stream's going good, um, but I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you or anything. So, at the least, you know, when this when the stream is done, I'll I'll watch the video back and, and see the comments. And if anybody has anything that's important, I will answer it unless I see it when I'm looking down. Wow, I'm still working this. See, this is, I think this is actually cool. I, I haven't done this before. This was just like a theory that I was going off of. And it seems to be a good one. I'm actually going to really darken that top up. I just want it to be super dark on the top. You know, it seems like a lot of people are always like trying to figure out ways to, you know, use acrylic in an oil form, you know? Um, this may be uh, one of the ways, at least for at least for what I'm doing so far. Yeah, that's actually working really good. And I'm just gonna just wipe this off a little bit like this, and then I can um, I can come back up here and blend it. You know, you don't have to rush through all this either. You know, if you're doing something like this, I mean, it's not like I got to be anywhere <laughs> right now. You know what I mean? Take your time. That it, this actually worked uh, way better than what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like real, like uh, blotchy and and real tough. 
to uh, to do what I'm doing so far. So happy with that. <laughs> I'm going to have some trees back here, like some, you know, maybe some faraway trees. I'm not making any mountains or anything like that, if anybody was wondering. Whenever I need to just kind of like, um, you know, just whenever I need to like just get away and just get something done and just kind of focus on something else, I always make tr just like trees. That's like one of my favorite things to do. Make a tree. I tell people that all the time. And they say, what should I make? What, I don't know what to make. Make a tree. Make a tree. All right. I don't want to blend that thing to death. So, all right. That's pretty good. I'm just going to wipe this brush off real quick. And then I'm going to start putting, like, some, you know, just something, something back here. You know, some of it we'll, maybe we'll see. Um... You know, behind the tree that the big tree that we're going to put in but you know maybe we won't see it i don't know but i'm going to put it in just so it's there right okay so i'm going to i got to be careful i don't there's a wire right behind me if i take two steps back i could very well rip the wires out of the laptop and then i i would probably fall backwards into the wall that would just definitely uh, be a bad thing for today. All right, so I'm trying, I need like a, I want like a pale color because I, I really wanted it to be like something far away. So I'm gonna come up maybe like a pale green. Let me see what I can come up with here. So I'm gonna pull out some of the sap green. Sap green. yellow ochre. I'm going to mix a lot. So I'm going to mix sap green and a little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of the blue, and a little bit of black and white. See how that does. And when you're like mixing colors, just, uh, you know, just mix until you, you know, you get something that you like. You know, mess around with different colors and see what does what. I'm going to wipe this off a little bit because this is actually still wet, you know, so I'm just going to put some stuff back here, just to get the color in first and then, uh, and then work with it after that. And I'll throw some dark into here. I'm sort of just like scrubbing right now on an angle. I'm going to darken it up just a little bit with some uh, blue and black into the regular color I was just using. See how this looks. It's still pale, you know, it's, it's definitely still like a pale color. <clears throat> yeah, so I thought this would be a good test, a uh, good test stream to see how it does on both platforms because you know, I figured it would probably like crash. Like, you know, it's like one one live stream is kind of hard enough to to keep going properly. So if you're doing two, you know, I figured, yeah, it would some one of them would cut out or something. But it seems like it's all right so far. Everybody on what about everybody on Facebook? Can, is the video still going? It looks like it's going. I can tell the YouTube one is. All right. I'm going to put a little bit more dark here. Is that these aren't I don't think these are going to really show. So a little bit darker. <clears throat> but if you put dark color, you know, in front like that, you leave some of that lighter color showing. You know, it'll look like it'll, you know, it's depth. It'll show, you know, different depths. Maybe I'll darken it up a little bit more, even lower than that.
I think acrylic paint is uh, is actually pretty interesting. You know, uh, considering you know ne never really using it that much, it's actually pretty. Uh, it's pretty pretty interesting. All right, now I'm going to get a darker color, and I'm just going to get ready to start laying this big tree in because it takes it's going to take up almost the whole thing, anyways. So blue, black, and, and green. How do I want? To, I want it to be sort of on an angle. about right I get it real dark super dark so I'm gonna put some dark color in and then you know once that's in you can you can put light on top of it wherever you want I always like to do that with even with oil I, I just love just smashing dark color Get it down, and then you can you can pick areas that you want to stand out. It's actually a really good way, I think. I got to start adding some more actual color. When you get closer, you want to have a little like color in there. I don't know if you can actually see the nice blue that is. It looks like a turquoise, blue green color. So I'm just getting dark in here right now. That's all. I don't really care like you know what it looks like or if it's a little different shade or whatever. Because I'll end up pulling some light light out of that dark. <laughs> Just gonna keep getting darker and darker. Almost black right there, pretty much. And this is just like a this is just like a half inch uh, synthetic brush. That's all this is, and it's very it's very soft, and it has like you know multiple different things you can you can do with this thing. A very good brush. So what you you know what you're seeing right here this is just like like a base you know base colors to work with and then you know once you have your base colors down then you can you know then you can really work with what you're doing I wouldn't ever worry too much about you know like this you know this portion or up to this point on any picture I mean that's at least I don't don't let yourself get wrapped up into how this looks you know because a lot of this stuff at least when I'm doing it doesn't show through anyways so I don't really care. All right, maybe I'll just, let me just drag up a few little dark areas, just so there's not a straight line here, you know, just, just smash it in or whatever. Something like that, maybe, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna wipe this brush out real quick. I'm still using the first one. wiping this out so you guys would you guys prefer to have the canvas where it's at right here or like further back you have to let you know let me know about that like do you want to see more of like the walls or do you like when it's close up like this and I'm going to, I'll go through all the, all the comments when I'm, when I'm done, but I'm curious about that. So let me know. All right. So I wiped this out. So now I think I'm going to, I'm going to just drop in the tree, like the big old, you know, the base, you know, shape of the tree and all that stuff. And that's where, that's where the fun always happens. All right. So I'm, I have some burn umber down here. That's already, that's getting actually thick. The burn umber is getting thick already. 
Um, I guess I, I did pour this paint out probably over an hour ago. I'm gonna get some of this burn umber first, and I'm gonna actually get a little bit of. I'm gonna get a little bit of black just to kind of dull the brown just a little bit, just so it's not a out of the tube brown color. And uh, I was thinking about just getting the base, just the base shape of the tree in, and then you just work with it after that. So I got some brown with a little bit of black. A lot of familiar names in the chat there. This is here. Bill. Andy's here. All right, cool. All right, so so anytime I make a tree, I always like, can you see that? How's that look? Actually, if I just wait two seconds because there's a delay, I'll be able to see how this looks on the canvas. I'm just wondering if you can see that. Yep. Yeah, you can see it. All right. So it's a super, it's like a nice sharp chisel and you'll start making your tree and I'll show you, like you'll start making it and it's, I, I always go back down. I reload pretty much right away because using a brush like this, and this is for oil or acrylic, it doesn't matter, but it gives you like really good control and you can make real fine edges and stuff like that. You can do a lot just by reloading it. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. All right. There we go. Okay. So I wanted to, I, I'm going to make it kind of crooked. And so I'll just start, I'm going to start right up here and I'm just going to come down like this. This is going to be like super crooked. It's going to come right down. It's going to you know drop down into there somewhere. And that's just the left side of that. So I'm going to go right back down and reload. Just get some more paint. And then you can just start filling it in or a lot of times what I'd like to do is when I'm making a tree, I'll just go like this. I'll come up here and I'll figure out like just the other side. Like you're drawing it really, you know. I mean, this is well, this is a little bit more crooked than I had planned, but it's all right. You get the point. You know, so you have like a basic shape right there. <clears throat> Bring that up a little bit. Make it a little bit more level. And then, boom. Just start filling it in, see. I, and I actually, I really love this brush because... You can do a lot with it. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever painted just like a whole painting with, uh, with this one brush, but it can be done. And uh, on the left side right here, I probably won't fill that in with complete dark, maybe a little bit, but leave that open. You could put some light color in there, depending on where your light's coming from. If you think it's coming from this way, do the, you know, leave the other side a little open. So I'm just going to keep you know reloading and just come down here and just fill some of this in. And then same thing with the tree. The, the, the light is going to bring out the areas that you want people to see. You know, so just remember that. I'm actually really, I'm like really surprised how that, that background worked. I, I didn't expect that. That's cool. That's good to know. That may uh, provoke me to make more acrylic uh, videos. Seemed like super easy. So uh, if you're later, you didn't see what I did, I can just tell you or you can watch the video back. But I just took uh, water with this brush and I, I maybe spent two or three minutes and I spread it around and, and then I put white paint, just white, straight up white acrylic paint. And it just like worked perfect on top. And it, it created like a nice medium. Good stuff. All right. And I'm going to probably start to, I'm going to start adding in like the little branches and stuff. So maybe one here, it's going to go like this. This is like, this tree is going to be doing all kinds of stuff. And the other thing I like about this brush, when you sharpen it like that, you can really like, just get some really cool, uh, you know, effects with it. You want, you know, bigger branch, you just push harder. Yep.
and you can make like little branches with it too if you if you barely push like with light pressure you could make it like a little you know like a little branch like that right there okay now i'm not gonna like this i don't know drops right in that way <clears throat> And then, and then, yeah, just you know, make little branches like that. If you just barely, you know, barely touch, it'll. It really does make these cool little branches, almost like what you can do with your liner, sort of. You can get away with this, making small, you know, small little areas. I'm wondering if you want maybe a little, little straggler right there. Right. Yeah, I got some color down there. Um, I need another branch there, I think, right? I always try to I always try to get these things balanced, these trees, you know. Try to at least make them look balanced to what I would think balanced would look like. Not that I know what a balanced tree should look like, but maybe some just like a little not symmetrical, but you know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying, right? Try to make it look good. Right, so we got that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start. I'm not worried about this right here. I'm going to actually, you know what? I have to change that. There we go. It's a little fatter. I'm going to put the light color now. I'm going to, so I'm just going to wipe this off. Still haven't switched brushes yet. <laughs> All right. Oh, and also, too, you know, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how many people from YouTube uh, ever go over to Facebook or not. But, um, you know, anybody on YouTube or, or anybody on Facebook that hasn't went over or anything like that, just to drop their name in the comments of a, a post I put up. And in a couple of days, we'll, you know, take all the names and, and pick one of the nurses out. And I, I picked out a nice picture. I thought it would be cool to just send it out to the, one of the nurses because they're, you know, doing so much right now. And uh, they're just appreciated. All right. So yeah, if you want, you head over there. Just drop their name. Somebody's gonna win it. All right. All right. So I'm trying to think here, real quickly, about what if I should just lighten the shade up. All right. I'm just gonna go for. I'm just gonna take a little bit of white first and mix that in with the brown. So I just have a. It's actually still a very dark brown color, but I just want to see. I just want to get like a very dark, dark. Middle, middle value? I don't think that makes sense. Just mix that up. So it's actually, it's ex extremely dark. It's going to be lighter than what color you see there is. So, see how this looks. I'm just going to start putting some of this in real quick. And then I'll, I'll just work with it. And I'm just thinking, you know, for the record, I'm thinking the light's coming from the left. So, I'm just going to start here real quick. Drag some highlight. And maybe this branch is like in the front of the tree here. You know, so I'm going to drag the light in, down into the front. This is probably my favorite part about um, any making any kind of painting, whether it's a tree or, or whatever. Um, it's like just kind of bringing it to life, you know, just adding the little things that really make that difference. Probably my favorite part. Some here. So I'm just adding little areas to the, you know, to the left side and wherever I think light should be. And this is just a like a mid sort of like a dark mid-tone color that I'm that I'm using right now. <clears throat> and so there's like a straight line right there. That's like no big deal. You just just break that up a little bit. And then you could always put dark back in there if you needed to. And then I'm going to, in a minute, I'm going to switch over to an even lighter color. And figure out where that root is. It goes into the ground. 
that little bit of brown that's shown on the outside, that's what I'll end up covering with a super bright color. But heck, I think anybody would have a good time, good time making just something simple like this, you know? Keeps your mind occupied. Lord knows, sometimes we all need that. Just making sure I don't trip over this wire. <laughs> yeah, all right, so cool. I mean, it's like, you know, you're like building a tree. Low motion. And then you're going to probably really start to notice it whenever the, when I put the super, you know, I'm bringing this one in the front too. When I put the light, light color on, there's a little glare, so I have to kind of look on this way a little bit. All right, I'm going to start lightening this up now. And so far, I've just used brown, a little bit of black, and white. So now I'm going to use more white. Yeah, so I'm just going to use some more white right now. Nice bright color, brighter color. Still got a little brown in it. Let's see how it looks. Now I'm going to go, shoom, lights down in there, right on the edge. Slice that color in. Now I always like to go back down and pick up more because it, 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 this paint's staying wet for some reason. Um, probably because I put a ton of water on it. But uh, I don't want to make, like, you know, even mud with acrylics. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you see, that's that's the part I like right here. I, this is the part that makes me, uh, gets me in a good mood. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Putting this light color on. Because, you know, you can start to see little areas stand out and stuff. You know? And then if these lines end up being like too sharp, you can come right back in with some dark color and just really just smooth it right out, you know? I'm right up here. I'm just dropping some of this highlight in here, maybe some out here too, just to kind of, just so it doesn't look so flat over here. Put some shadow colors in there too. We probably could do that. Yeah, so how does that, I mean, how does that look so far from, from your guys' view? If you wouldn't mind, you're not going to hurt my feelings either. So just be, be honest. Does it look, uh, how does it look? Do, you know, can you see uh, the lights and the darks and stuff like that? I'm, I'm just, I'm very interested in knowing how the camera looks because the screen I'm looking at obviously it's just not probably what you're seeing and I'm right here I have a direct connection to it so a little anxious if you wouldn't mind telling me and if you use the corner of this brush you can get like other little effects too that could look like I don't know like maybe some chipped uh, bark or hot highlighted bark I don't know <laughs> just different uh, different patterns and stuff which is always good in any painting having different strokes and patterns and things. All right, so it looks like, all right, so you guys can see it. Let me wipe this off and figure out. I feel like it needs, a, I feel like I want to add a little bit of a different color into here. So I'm just going to, I'm actually going to wipe this white and brown off. And now it becomes a blender. Maybe it's the water. I don't know. Maybe it's the water that I put on and a combination of the canvas and the combination of the white acrylic paint that I put on. But this is a wet surface. This should be definitely tacking up from my experience. I don't have much experience with acrylic, but this is just straight up. Uh, it's, it's like wet. It's like an oil painting, and it's not an oil painting. So right away, I can tell you, I feel like... Uh, if I can get if I can get it to act like this, I feel like I would do do a lot more. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. So I got that there. I got that there. All right. Let me. Uh, I'm just gonna wipe this off real quick and 
maybe I'll maybe I'll put a little something right here and here just like a little highlight on these bushes I didn't highlight them I kind of forgot about them <laughs> color I want to make that a nice color so let's do some yellow ochre and I do have a color right here it's called green gold never used it it was just in a bag that I found with acrylic paints in it I got some of that uh, yellow ochre and the green gold, and I think I'm going to put some of the cadmium yellow in there. Did we come up with a little bit of green, maybe? I don't know. The best way to figure out what looks good is to just mess around with it. I do that all the time. Black into it. Dull it. Not so vibrant. Um, hmm. I don't want to kill all the black because it probably will make it not look right if I do. Now this looks a little closer. So I'm just, I'm really using the corner. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm like kind of stabbing at it and turning it. And uh, it seems to be making like little bushy looking, leafy looking things or whatever. Um, let's do this side. A couple here. Or you, I mean, if I use the corner and maybe make uh, little circles, little tiny baby circles or whatever, that may look good. And I always like to choose like a uh, some form of a mid tone first to, to start off with, and it seems like that that helps a lot um, when you're highlighting something. If you if you start off with a mid tone, you can always go darker and you can always go lighter. If you start off and you're, and you're too bright. You know, it may uh, it may be a little trouble, maybe, maybe not, but uh, that's just what I do. I always start off with like a mid tone, and then I and I kind of work from there. Getting some more. Um, I'm just getting some uh, cad yellow and a little bit of that green gold color. To lighten it up this is actually pretty fun uh for having no experience with this stuff this uh, acrylic i like it actually hmm. i'm wondering if uh one brush you know it's very convenient i wonder if uh how many videos i'll make you know using uh something like this i'm still just i'm just using the corner here and i think i'm going to put a little green in there too just to to change it up so it's not the same old color a little bit of sap green maybe oh too much a little black maybe black will probably dull it a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh and straight out of the tube vibrant it looks like a good color yeah oh that's a nice color yep there go I'm trying to leave a lot of that dark though i don't want to kill it all The dark is still showing through. That's cool. Mm hmm. And okay, I'm going to go a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. And thinking about light coming this way, that tree should be dry by now, I think. And then, oh, I need more green in that color and black just to make it a little bit dull. All right, let's try this. I just want to pick a few little spots out, right? Maybe like uh, spots that just the extra areas where the sun would hit or whatever. And I'm just using the corner. A little bit more of that color. And it looks pretty cool. I like that, actually. A little bit there, a little there. It just like uh, it just gives more like an indication, um, which is great, you know, because then that when you give an indication of something, it just really allows the person that's looking at it to to really decide what it is. I mean, at least that's what I would do if I'm looking at something that's just indications. I could you know think it's this or maybe it's that or maybe it's none of the above. I don't know. Drop a few little thingies sticking out there. 
Let me step back real quick. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So now I see I have to, I need to, I need to put another color into this. Well, there's going to be like two or three colors I want to put in the tree. And one of them is going to have a little bit of yellow ochre in it. So let me grab that now. Yellow, this yellow ochre is like thick, like peanut butter. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to take yellow, <clears throat> yellow ochre, and some brown. Brown's drying pretty good, pretty quick. So I'm going to take yellow ochre and brown. See what that does. Maybe a bit of black. We get. I just want to add more color to the tree. I think it'll be great. Okay. Here we go. Let's see how this does. I'm going to stick it right here because it's this is not like a super highlight color. It's more like a maybe like a mid mid tone sort of. But I can see like uh, some bark textures being, you know, like this color here. Let me see how that looks. Right, I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to add a little bit more brown to that. I think that'll make it look a little bit better. Be a little bit of black too. We'll like dull it, diffuse it, or whatever. Okay. Let's see. I'm just kind of just slicing in like a little color like I was doing with the white and the highlights and all that. That actually is pretty cool. I like that. There's different areas. I'm hitting some of the white too. I'm going right over top of it. It's like blending in. Down here maybe. I don't know. Maybe that could even be like a little moss on the tree. I don't know. It could be whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> Angles are pretty important on trees too, on anything, but, you know... Whatever way you're going, turn that way, you know. I think the, the trunk is going that way. This tree, maybe it's ready to fall over. So I'm just going to put some of these things in, and then I'll come back and figure out where, you know, maybe like some grass or some moss is actually going to be. Get some more color here. <clears throat> I'm going to put some brown down here to match up here. So if anybody doesn't already know on here, there's like a whole uh, other group of, of really good artists that are planning to do live streams throughout the week. You know, we were, it sounded like we were trying to <clears throat> figure out who's doing them what night. And this way there'd be, uh, you know, one person doing it this night and so on, you know, through the whole week. So um, if anybody is in there that knows about that, you know, I don't know if you guys want information. I mean, a lot of it's on the, the Bob Ross pages. But, um, you know, it's Bram and there's JD. There's a bunch of people. Um, Teresa, I think she, yep, she's still here. So, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, good people just trying to do stuff to, you know, to help everybody else relax, you know. It's pretty cool. But I think that would be pretty cool if, uh, you know, each person did one um, a different night or whatever. <clears throat> be a great idea. I'm going to start putting some super, super dark color in this tree in a minute. And I'm hoping that that's going to really just uh, do something to it. I don't normally paint like this, so <clears throat> if I look like I don't, you know, know what I'm doing, I don't. Because I don't, I just don't normally, I'm normally like slopping around with wet paint and all that stuff. <clears throat> Okay, so I think we'll go into some dark color. All right. Yeah, dark color. Looks dark. Like blue and black dark. Try that. Start down here maybe and I'll see about. 
I don't want to like ruin it with this, but I'm just going to see, see how I feel with it. <clears throat> I'm not worried about the, the very, very edge yet because I might do something a little bit different with that. But some nice, real deep shadows in here. You know, and if you do like too much of these, you can just simply, uh, you know, I think go back and add in some uh, light color again, you know. <clears throat> you go right up here. I'm actually going to drop in some dark color right there. There's a little bit of a glare for me. Um, I don't want to stand right in front of the camera. There's a little bit of a glare, so I'm having a little trouble seeing like this whole section. I'm just going to do it blind. <laughs> I'm not ruining it. No, that's actually uh, bringing out, it looks like depth in the tree. It's like deep and dark. One area and then the other area, it's light. So I'm going to come up here. Like there's that straight line right there, and it's going to chop it up a little bit, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to put a bunch of leaves up here in a minute, so I shouldn't be too worried. <clears throat> a little bit more dark down here before we do that. Yep. Okay. Hey. All right, so I think, uh, what do you think? Probably uh, add some, some leaves, right? That would probably sound like a good idea right about now. Yeah. Right. All right, so I'm just going to, look, I still haven't used, um, I still didn't grab the clean brush. This is, so far, it's been pretty easy with just the one, with the one brush. So I'm happy about that. All right, so leaves. Let's uh, let's talk about leaves. Um, start putting in clumps of leaves. So I'm going to want a dark, a really dark green color, sort of the same principle as here and here, like a dark color, and then kind of build from that. You know, you start dark and then you lighten as you go, and you can choose the areas that you want to stick out. So what am I doing here? I'm going to take some for that. I'm just going to use that green, and I do this all the time, uh, even with oil. That green. Some of the ivory black, uh, Prussian blue. Okay, so blue, black, green. Now, generally, when you uh, equally mix those colors together, like an equal mix of each one, it generally makes a pretty decent, you know, nice dark, but yet leaf color. You know, because when you're making, um, oh, well, when I'm making leaves, I don't like to. I don't want to use just like straight like black or whatever. I'd like there to be a little color you know just for the painting you want it to have color in it you know even if it has a it's dark but maybe it has a nice blue or green tint to it <clears throat> excuse me um okay all right so i loaded that up i loaded it to a chisel i always do that it just seems like it makes life a little easier and i'm gonna with this brush i'm probably just gonna use the corner and just sort of like sweep back and forth and just like twist it and turn it and some of the areas where the, that branch shows through that's pretty easy to cover right up, even with just a little bit of a darker color. Um, I may have to stand a little bit like this. I hope I'm not like, hope my uh, mug isn't in the way too much here. I just don't, I, it's a glare because the lighting is, it's, it's super bright in here. I'm just gonna work some of this color around, you know, throughout the picture, just put, you know, little clumps. Okay, like little clumps like that and then pick out the highlights so blue black and and some green loading up some more mixing some more <clears throat> right if you wanted like bigger leaves you don't don't use the corner just use it you know a different part of the brush and it's cool now that that uh definitely the tree definitely is like either completely dry or it's tacky because i'm going right over top of it which is another important thing, you know, when you're making trees, 
you know, it's really important that you go right over top of the base or the trunk or the branch or whatever, go over top of the, with, you know, with the leaves to make it have that, you know, that nice, beautiful, natural look, you know, like you would see out in nature. I'm just going to leave a little bit of this showing right there, just that little bit there. But the corner seems to do like a pretty good uh, a pretty good little result, and I'm just kind of like swatting back and forth. And I'm not too worried about it though because the highlights really, you know, really pick out what what's happening here. You know, you know, I said this the other day, but <clears throat> excuse me, I uh, I think it's really, you know, I think it's really cool that you know there's a group of people. Um, you know, that just want to like, you know, work together and like try to do stuff to make other people happy. I thought that was pretty cool when I, when I was, you know, seeing that on, uh, talking about the live streams, like that's, you know, that's just awesome. All right. There's a lot of good people in uh, the art world, but now I'm just throwing color everywhere blue black and I'm still using a green color I got to step back for a second just to see where where I'm going here because I'm gonna have to add I'm gonna have to add another branch I want there to be a clump right here something like that fill this in a little bit leave a little bit showing there maybe there's like some stuff hanging here or whatever and I'm gonna have a branch. I'm gonna make a branch right somewhere right there. So, actually, let me just go over here and hit this brown real quick. I didn't even wipe the brush. I'm just hitting into some brown and that original tree branch color. <clears throat> Get a little black. Sometimes, if you put the branches in first, it just gives you just a much better idea of where of where you're going. You know, actually, I want to do something a little bit more dark color. I just think it'll balance it. I was talking about earlier, you know, balance. I want to put, yeah, I, I want to put a branch right here. So I'm going to go get it in. Shoom. Drop it in. And I'll put the light back on in a second. I'm not worried about that. There. Adapt this in a second. No big deal. When you start off with a chiseled edge, you have just so much more control. Hmm. This paint's starting to get really thick. The brown is definitely getting thick. <clears throat> And maybe there's one that just kind of goes, you know, off or whatever that way. Our color, picking this up a little bit. I want that to be actually bigger. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Okay, now we can put leaves there in a second. But before I do that, let me get rid of this paper towel. I want to do the, um, I want to lighten it up a little bit. How is um, everybody over on YouTube? Is everything still looking okay? Over there, everything still working, operating. All right, so I'm gonna I'm grabbing some more of that, like that medium brown. Well, yeah, the brown and white. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna come right here, drop some of that color on, like that. And just fix that, you know, because um, I ruined it a minute ago. Next light color is there, and then put some here, just outline these little branches. And then whatever shows through ends up looking probably pretty decent. I'm just going to try to blend some of this back just so it's like a little transition. And then I think like that dark spot right there probably plays a, a pretty important part. Because if I was to put light there, it just wouldn't it wouldn't look right, you know. So if you have the dark there, 
and you have the light here, it really, it really makes a difference, when, especially when you're looking back from about six feet. And let me do something that might help it stand out a little bit better for you. I'm going to make this a little bit, even a little bit more darker real quick. So let me just grab some almost pure black um, with a little bit of brown, okay? So check this out. Um, I'm going to try to, I hope you can see this. I'm going to darken this up a little bit more. And it may not look too much darker to you guys. I don't know. But I'm just trying to darken that up first, okay? And I'm going to wipe this off. <clears throat> wipe it off and now watch this. I'm going to grab me some, this is a much lighter color, but I, I'm hoping that it stands out for you so you can see uh, what I was talking about. All right, watch. Now I may dull this down afterwards because this is probably going to be too bright. Okay, here we go. Right here, watch this. Nice and bright. There's a bright color, right? Here. Then, actually, you know what? I'm going to wipe it now. Wipe it off. And then I'm going to try to just blend like the back side of this back just a little bit. Maybe little circles, whatever. I just want to make a little transition from light uh, to dark. And I'm hoping that you could just see the difference. You know, like, oh, you can tell this is the outside of the branch that's light. You know, light's going to the side of the branch. And I think it'll help if I put some in right there, too. <clears throat> Right, drop a little bit right here. Right up to, the, uh, right there. Yeah, I think that, that uh, yeah. Can you tell? I mean, can you see, uh, can you see? I'm talking about it stands out it's a more uh two or three dimensional um yeah <clears throat> some dark color here put some right there just to kind of blend all that together a little bit okay and let me come right up here i'm going to fix this back edge Just keep getting dark color. I'm just trying to make this back edge look real nice and crisp because I think this is like an important part, for, you know, for depth. And I'm going to even stab some of the dark color in the highlight. Just stab a little bit of it in there, and maybe it'll look like uh, bark or something. Okay. <clears throat> just wiping this off. All right. So I got to figure out if I should leave this dark or or not so let me before i do all that let me just grab some of that uh that leave color the the green black and the blue i'm gonna put some more leaves in some dark leaves okay this is the color oh, a little bit darker a little bit more black in there okay i think that's good find out so big clump right here darker so I'm, i just keep using the corner i like using the corner a lot of this and it's funny actually i say a lot i don't even use this brush i have uh, a lot of these just laying around i don't use them but i might i might start because uh it's actually pretty it, it seems like it's pretty easy to work with um you know it's i don't know it feels good you know um You know, I'm always wanting to try some, you know, anything to, to, to better what I'm doing. So I have an open mind. <clears throat> I like to, you know, look, seems like I, I was doing it over here pressing. It just makes it look like little baby leaves or whatever. Or impressions of them. This one can even go right across the branch a little bit or the trunk. Something like that. I'm going to darken up one area right here. Yeah. And I think I just need a little bit more dark over here, and then we'll jump right over to the yellows and go to town there. 
<clears throat> hey, dark here. Yep, looks good. I think. Some hang down like this. And... Yeah. Let's gonna put a little bit more in front of this tree right here. Just look like maybe like a. So we know there's just like a little leave or two. I think that's pretty close to doing highlights. All right, I'm gonna start wiping this off and have, so I can look at it and see what I wanna do. Maybe before the highlights, I wanna do something to the back side of the trunk and see how it looks. <clears throat> But I'll be honest. This is a uh, th this is a lot more uh, this is a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. You know, I wanted to do um, something acrylic because a lot of people had asked, and I was like, "Well, this would be a good time to, you know, to test to test it, and then if it works, you know, maybe we can do a super serious one." I'd love to, you know, get a. I'm trying to figure out if I can get another camera somehow. That'd be really great to have a camera inside the camera picture. That kind of showed the palette because I don't like holding my palette at all. I like setting it down. <clears throat> I want to put a shadow on the back side of this, but not like something crazy. So I'm going to get me some some uh, Prussian blue, blue, and some white. Prussian blue, white. There's a little bit of brown in there. And just a shadow color, so. off Russian blue white a little bit of brown the brown just kind of dulls it a little bit which really helps um, it helps with I'm not sure the word I'm looking for it just doesn't make it look so so vibrant brown is a uh, brown seems like it's a really good color for that for any, anything you want to dull your color put some brown in it at least that's what I've done. I just think it makes it look a little bit more earthy. All right, let's see how this looks. All right, so I'm gonna start dropping some shadows in. About, what the heck happened here? I'll fix that in a minute. So I'm gonna put some, some shadows right on the back side. Oop, there's something there. I'm going to put a few little areas of the shadow. Maybe maybe it looks like the tree is has like a big hole in it on the back side. We'll see how it looks. Slip some in here too. And this will help with... Uh, Depth also, it'll just look like something. I don't know the I don't know the best way to describe it, but it'll look like something when you when you put these shadows in, as long as you don't go overboard. I think the proper term is reflected light, but so I'm going to wipe this off real quick, and I'm going to try to use this as like a blender to soften this just a little bit. Wipe it off more. <clears throat> And like I was saying earlier, if you go overboard and you put too much in, just go right back. And, you know, I would put some dark color back and repeat the process over with some highlight, dark, whatever you need. Um, sprinkling some of that around. I got to step back and look at this real quick. I'm going to get a little bit of a brighter light blue real quick. Just checking the camera. I thought it said disconnect. Disconnected. 
right, so I'm getting a really light color, a really light blue color. I'm going to hit one little area over here just so it stands out really. Just like one, maybe one or two edges. Watch us. Good little separator here. See that right there? This gives a little bit of something. I don't know. <clears throat> a little bit more of that color. I like that color. It's a nice color. There. I think it needs a little up here. I'm going to blend this a little bit just to soften it because that looked too harsh. And actually, get some of the dark brown and black real quick. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to drop a little bit in there because I, I definitely went a little overboard right there. See, but I did that. Just wipe this off real quick. And I'm going to grab a little bit of the, the light color. The light color we used. Here, get right back in. Ooh, it's bright. <laughs> See how that would look right here. Oh, I like that. I'm going to go overboard. I don't even care. like it. Wipe it off, put some here. So I was just trying to think about like uh, just pulling some areas out. I don't know what this would be. I don't know if it would be like a root or what, but I'm going to put some grass or, or something in here after we do the highlights. And I'm using this as a blender brush again, actually. Softening some of these areas. That paint's staying wet so long. It's amazing. I'll have to tell you what kind of paint it is before I'm done, because I don't have the tubes right here. <clears throat> All right, let me get some brown and black real quick, just to pop in here, tie those two together. Okay, here. All right, I think, uh, yeah, let's move on to the highlights. That's probably the part that I've wanted to do <clears throat> the whole time. <clears throat> right. I'm just wiping this brush off. Paper towel. And with the uh <clears throat> with the highlights with the highlights I'm gonna i I'm gonna build up. I'm gonna start off with a darker color and then just kinda work my way up and just see what looks good. And and if a couple of areas are gonna really you know stick out nice and bright. So all right, let's go with a uh I'm gonna use like a to get a the color that I would <clears throat> normally start with, I would take some Prussian blue, black, okay? Almost like the color we used to make the dark base, but I would take Prussian blue, black, get, get that mess off of there, wipe it a little bit, and then I would go right into some of the cad yellow. So it's, it's, a real, it's actually a really super, super dark green, but it's, it's actually much lighter than what, what the base is. You'll be able to tell as soon as I put it up, you'll be able to tell. I'm going to put a little brown in there just to dull it so it's not super vibrant. Okay, Let's see how this looks. I'll start. Start. Think about clumps. Clumps. Maybe I'll start right here. All right, you're not going to see that, actually. Get some more yellow. Too much, though. That should be good. Let's try this color. Where was I at? Right here. I'm going to start, and I'm just going to think about like little, little clumps and stuff. <clears throat> so up here, I'm using the corner, sort of like the same thing. I got to lighten that up a little bit. Same thing as when I was putting that base down. I think it would be awkward to use anything but the corner when you're uh, making these little leaves. 
But I think it's going to be really important to leave most of the dark because if not, it's just going to all blend together and look like crap. All right. I'm going to go right in front of that tree or branch or whatever. A little bit there. Work our way up here. Interesting. It's going to leave a lot of that dark until the final highlight. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to have a little bit of a glare in my face right here. I'm just using that same color and I'll go brighter and brighter and brighter. Seems, uh, yeah, that's working. That's working actually pretty good. I really like using the corner, of this brush a lot. So I really think I'm going to be using, now that color is a little bit lighter and that's cool, that's fine. I, I didn't plan that right away, but I'll just work with it since I have it up here already. A few little leaves there, maybe make this clump a little bit more noticeable. <clears throat> leaves there, there, drop down here. Stepping back to take a quick look. All right. I gotta get one shade darker. I don't want to get carried away. One shade darker. Cause I gotta, I've gotta work on this clump over here. There we go. It's so important if you, uh, if you build up colors. So so important. I like can't even stress that enough. Like how important it is. Like if you just took, uh, look, if you just had like uh, the base color that we used and you just slap some yellow on it or whatever, I don't think that would look uh, as good as when you're building up the colors. So, you know, and that's pretty, pretty simple to do. You know, you just, like I said, you can start off with a, like a real dark mid-tone like this here and then just keep uh, wiping your brush and adding a little bit more yellow as you go. There's a couple ways to do it. One shade at a time. And, and it really is important to leave so like a lot of the dark and just it's got to be balanced. It's really going to stick out here in a minute whenever we uh, whenever I put the super bright highlights on. I think you guys might enjoy that. It's going to look pretty cool. I'm just doing all kind of weird little. I'm going to get some yellow ochre. I haven't used any of that. Some of that on here. <clears throat> Mix that in with that base color a little bit. Hit the top a little bit like that. Nice. Get a little bit of a darker shade. I'm trying to keep control of what I'm doing here so I don't uh, make it look bad. Seems to be working pretty well. I actually, uh, <clears throat> surprisingly, uh, this is like really uh, enjoyable. Like I didn't think it was going to be because I really, I really just like using uh, oil paint because I'm so used to it and I'm, I just know what to expect. So uh, when I was planning to do this acrylic video, I was kind of like, you know, uh, I don't really know what what to expect or whatever, you know, because I, I really don't use this stuff often it's rare um, and especially whatever kind I have here I don't even know where it came from I 
All right, so I think that's enough like uh, of the mid-tone greens uh, for right now on here. Let's drop a few little stragglers down here just so it's no straight line. I think uh, I think it's time to move uh, down here. I'm going to drop some really dark color down here, some blue, black, and some green. Just real dark color. See how this looks. Because I wanted to put some kind of some grass or some moss or something down here. <clears throat> see what we have here. And I'm just thinking about how the land is doing here. Make some of this growing right up into the tree. You know, another thing I think is probably important is uh, if you stand back a little bit, hold the end of your brush instead of, sometimes you find yourself doing this, you know, and that's probably not a good thing. Stand back a little bit and, you know, you get a better vision of what's happening in front of you. Yeah, I'm just giving like, I'm just putting a base right now. Um, so when I, when I get towards the end, you can have like some nice looking moss or grass or whatever, stuff like that. A little brighter color here. Let's see. I think our light's going to be coming there. So let's, here's a good little example. So the light's coming from this way. We didn't get to the highlight highlights yet, but if the light's coming here, maybe it's going to pick up a little bit of this, uh, whatever this mossy stuff is right here, right? It's a little touch of it right there. You know, it just kind of picks that up and we can highlight that too. I think that'd be great. But, you know, I think, uh, I really think I'm going to do more of these acrylic. I actually, had, this is like a really, uh, this is much better than what I expected. You know, it's, it's been such a pleasant, I got to knock this down or something here. Just kind of, I was pretty bright. I don't know what I was thinking. I just wasn't expecting this. And uh, I'm glad that I did it now because I, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys, I don't know, I, I just didn't, I, I couldn't get into this today. You know, I already told, I told you guys in the last couple of live streams, like, I don't lie to you. I tell you the truth, like about, you know, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. And today was definitely a really bad day. So, um, but on the flip side, you know, what I, what I was telling you the other day, I'm just, I, I'm pushing myself to do this. And, and here I start enjoying myself halfway through when I know you can hear it in my voice of like some of you're probably like why is this why is he sound so down it's a real bad day but this this is uh helping the day it really is i like this i'm happy that i did this so far <clears throat> build the colors up Maybe this is a hill a moss hill <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build a moss hill real quick all right and we can put some dark back into it if we want or whatever work but on a real note I don't I don't know what any of this stuff is right here it's just it looks appealing to me when I especially when I stand back it looks like it could pass for I don't know maybe the maybe there was like two bumps here that were connected to the tree maybe there was like two trees growing out and they got cut down maybe that's what it is um and also too like i didn't just like you know blindly go into this a while back that there was a demo that i did that just had a tree in it you know i mean it was i don't even think it looked too much exactly like that but i like big trees 
I like big trees. I like painting big trees. I, I actually, and I really like painting big trees if I don't like feel right or something like that. It just brings like a sense of uh, a good feeling to me at least. All right, I better stop. I'm going to ruin this. Um, all right, I need a little bit of dark. I knew that was going to happen, but that's all right. That's cool. A little bit of dark. A little bit of dark. Hmm. Black room. There we go. That's helping. I wanted to separate uh, those two, those two little hills or whatever, whatever they are. Perfect. That's working. Put the dark in between the two. See, nice. <clears throat> and I can even touch it up with some light. I can do this all night, actually. Here we go. Okay. Here, maybe that connect a little bit. Dark there, dark there. All right, I'm kind of feeling it now. I'm feeling it a little bit. I like it like it okay um, I think it's a good time to start working on those really bright highlights we set these paper towels out of the way because those are going to, I'm going to do probably two layers of uh, the highlights. And that's probably the part that I was looking forward to the most out of this whole thing. <clears throat> so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh, and I think I, sh I think it's important that I probably should mention something so I don't get a bunch of messages after this. Um, I'm extremely tired. And, and when I say extremely tired, uh, anybody that was here on the live stream the other day, I'm getting just getting some really bright yellow right now. Yesterday, anybody that was on the live stream, I've been awake ever since then. And I'm going to tell you something embarrassing. And I don't even care because it, it really, it's just embarrassing and it's just whatever. <laughs> so last night I was... Uh, just, you know, getting some stuff ready at home, around the house, just trying to get, you know, things ready for the night so I can get relaxed and, and just be a normal human while as normal as I'm going to get as a human. And so I was going, goodness, am I even saying this? So I, I was, I was going, I had to go down into the basement because I had, I had to get some clothes and some towels and some different things. And when I walk, I open, I open the basement door. Okay. So I had to walk to the bottom to get to the, to the switch to turn the light on. So I took the first step in, in onto the steps and somehow or another, I, I missed the second step and I, I fell down 16 steps last night. And when I was trying to go to sleep last night, every time I breathed in, it felt like somebody shot me with a 12 gauge shotgun in my ribs. So I didn't sleep. That's too bright. I didn't sleep all night. And I, I'm honestly, I, I, all night not a, not not for one minute it and uh <clears throat> yeah it just kind of carried over into today so i apologize if my breathing is is a little weird i had a really rough night guys i really did i'm just playing with this color here i want to get the right color so um yeah so i have big big I have, it looks like somebody beat the hell out of me. My, I have big marks all over me. My ribs are completely shot right now. I mean, it's funny. It's really, it's actually really funny. I mean, it's funny that I'm, that I'm here, you know, and I'm, and I'm talking and I didn't, I didn't fall and die last night cause I would have sucked, but man, I just figured I'd share that with you. I don't know. I didn't want anybody to like wonder if I was off a little bit today. Now, you know. Rough night.
still wanted the pink though. Best decision I made all day. All right, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just taking little areas, just trying to uh, brighten them up slowly and take your time. If you're doing something like this, <clears throat> seriously, just take your time. Put some nice color there, and that's probably even too bright. I keep that's why I keep going down here and dipping into some darker. Now you can easily mess this up with too much highlight easily i'm sure a lot of you have i know i have you put too much highlight on and you're like oh. okay what do we got here Wait, yellow okay and now i want to try to figure out I just want to figure out what areas I want to stand out. So when somebody sees this, when they walk through the door, I just want to think about lights coming in here. Okay. It's just like, maybe it's coming in right here. So here's a branch here. There's a branch. So there's re really shouldn't be any, maybe right here. But if it's coming in right there, maybe some here. Let's work with that for a minute and see, see what that does. It's important to let the mid-tone uh, color show through. Don't I wouldn't I don't want to like cover that up because it, it won't look right. I want to make little tiny little things instead of these big old swats. I gotta step back so I can see what I'm doing. All right, and to make that somewhat believable, maybe I should put just a little bit here. I don't know. It's just whatever, you know, it's like whatever you think looks right, just experimenting is probably the best thing, I would say. But don't kill it with too much highlight because it'll ruin your day. So we got some greens there, we got a little yellow there. Lights coming. Yeah, because that, that's bright there, right? Lights maybe coming there. All right, let me get the paper towels. I'm going to wipe this off and now I'm going <clears> to <throat> put the super super bright bright color on here See a little bit of white over here right white and yellow whatever other mud is in there not much pretty much just yellow and white maybe a little bit of green i don't know if just yellow and white looks right i gotta get a little green in there just to dull it a little bit it's still bright Let's try it. Lights come in here. So I'm really going to use little small, small little uh, dots for this one. <clears throat> small dots. Right there. Yep, there we go. There it happens right there. That's a good color, actually. Nice. I like that. Little indications. I don't even know if you guys can see that or not. Hopefully you can. This is going to just like... Some of the light shine through here. Got to make sure I don't draw lines. I need to make the dots. Dots oh, right there. Not too much. Take my own advice. You can always, of course, you know, darken this back up if you have to. But if you can, like, uh, save the time, great too. <laughs> Um, well, I got that bright color going. I better, if the light's coming right here, you start, I'm going to push up. I'm going to maybe wipe just a little bit off so it's not so muddy. See how this looks. I like slicing it better. <laughs> slicing it looks much better. There. The light's right there. I'm just going to pull up a little bit just to break up that straight line right over top of that dark. That'll probably look good. Okay. 
me wipe that off real quick. Let's see. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a little bit there too. I'm just trying to balance this at this point now, like to see what looks right and what doesn't look right. I wanted the light to come through here, you know, in that one little branch, but I'm actually going to go in there. I'm going to darken some of it real quick just because it's the right thing to do. Black, green, blue, dark mid-tone. Okay, dark color. There we go. I'm going to darken some of this back up because it's it, there's too much highlight right here. And this is what I was talking about. It's easy to fix. Get some on there and just put it back. So you just keep repeating the process if you have to. I don't want to knock it all out. I'm going to go over it enough to where the highlight is reasonable and not unbelievable. Um, so it's shining there. Okay. And I think uh, maybe just a few here. Just a little, maybe a couple dots. Probably be good. It's going back. coming this way. Oop, right angle here. Drop some right down the tree here, see? <clears throat> Picking up a little light right there. Something happening here too, I guess. <clears throat> right here, we need a few little darker leaves because I left that spot out right over top of the branches. And the same thing here. You just got to keep messing with it, you know? Just keep messing around with stuff. Like, that looks like a straight line to me, so I just want to put a few little hang uh, down branches type things. Like that. There, there, like that. That seems to be working. I'm going to step back real quick and have a look. Yeah, there's not so much light hitting up there on the top. You know, I think that might be somewhat balanced, you know? Somewhat balanced. All right. Um, I didn't want to go overboard, but let me get some, just some yellow and white again. Maybe a little bit of a brighter mixture this time. On there, I'm going to just wipe it off. I wanted to try to do one thing here. I really wanted to just try to, like, maybe I'll hold my hand on here. That's the ticket. <laughs> Hold your hand on the canvas. Should have known better. In the brush and just put little. I just want some bright, super bright spots on here. Different directions so they don't all look the same. I'm pulling and pushing and all that stuff. And this stuff. It really just helps determine where the sunlight's coming through. And up some back. I norm I normally paint a lot faster than this, but this actually feels right right now. Feels uh, like I'm into it. Dude. Trying to find that balance, you know. Blasting right through there, that light. It just I might as well put a few little dots on the ground too, right? Like actual dots. They'll they'll look pretty cool. 
let's put a few little dots here maybe maybe they're like little yellow flowers something pop a few I left that nice dark spot in between here and that's what that's what allows that to work pretty good allows it to show right through I don't know what weed this is weeds or something I don't know it could be anything but it looks cool a little texture to it you know <clears throat> I don't want to go overboard though I do that all the time see what I'm doing here. I'm wiping this off real quick. Wiping that off. <clears throat> um, softening some of this, actually. Just a little bit. Just the bottom part. Bottom part, and then I got an idea. Dark, dark dots. Let's put some dark dots in. Green, blue, black. See how this looks. Got some light ones. Oh, that's pretty cool. Little dark thingies. See? Everything can't be light. It just gives it a different look, you know? There's, like, more stuff happening, which is probably pretty cool. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's good. Getting some yellow ochre here. Maybe a little bit of this other weird green color that's out on the palette. This looks like a pretty color. It's got a little gold look to it. Interesting. It looks good. It's good. Anyway, that kind of gave that a little highlight right, highlight right there. Um, let me see. More of that color. Color. It's called green gold. I I just, just the first time I, I think I used it tonight on this. Um, my thoughts are going. Should I put some here, maybe? Maybe. You know, none of this paint's dry except for the brown. The brown dried up a little bit, but that's it. Everything else is, like, wet. Um, I'm going to drop a few. I'm not going to eat. See what I did. There it is. Okay, back to the dark color. Pop in some darks. Just gotta know when to stop. Because <clears throat> I never know when to stop. That's actually a lie. I, I normally always know when to stop. Just not tonight. Um, let me see. What else? What else? What else? What else? All right. One last idea here. <clears throat> one last idea. <clears throat> All right. I just, just for the heck of it, I really want to brighten that up super super bright um white 
That's just a little bit of yellow oak. Or whatever. Let's see how this looks. I don't know. Sticks out there. It goes both ways. Wipe that. Up. Try to blend that a little bit. I just thought it would be cool to brighten that up. I don't know. It's not going anywhere. You know, this painting's just going to sit here anyway. So why not? Just you know, this is a good time to experiment, right? I'm going to soften this a little bit. Here, and same thing here. Actually, what? My brown and my dark. There's some dark pop in the dark make it look like a little uh, arc the bark right there breaks up that edge too okay and then i can just fix this one more time I have like a little bit of a gray color here. I want to try to three-dimensionalize this branch a little bit if I can. So the gray is going to hopefully draw the back of it out. Turn that angle this way. That runs right down to the ground like this. It goes this way. It goes every which way. Okay. And then from this point is when I can figure out which areas are supposed to be dark, which I already see. Area that's supposed to be brown, yellow, brown, a little black. I feel like it's here, there, here, and this is where you could really like, you know, do all kinds of cool stuff and bring out. Make the tree look like it's almost like it's split in the middle. You know what I mean? I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing at all. It's really trying to take this time to experiment just a little bit about how can I make this tree look like it has a like a split in the middle. So let's just do that before before we actually like end the video or whatever. So let's say we want to try to make a split here in the middle, and I got the basic uh, outline of it set up here. Okay, this is a split. All right, let me wipe the brush off. This is something fun to do, so I'm just going to wipe it off, all right, and then I'm going to start with this second split here. So I'm going to take, uh, yeah, a little bit of brown, the white, not a super bright color yet, brown and white. So I'm going to think about here, trees splitting, and I'm not going to make it straight, of course. I want it to be like different, you know different angles and stuff. Maybe it's thinner here and then it gets like comes down like this. Okay. Yes. Here's the other side. I, know, I thought this might be cool for you to see. Now I got that open. Let me just fix this up a little bit here. All right, now we can start working with this. Okay. So I'm going to wipe this a little bit, and then I'm going to start to darken it as it goes towards the right, okay? So 
if you want to make a tree split, if you want to make a tree split or something like that, have a nice big old split in it, you just, this is going to be the darker area in the center. And then here you'll have probably a brighter color and then it's going to get darker and darker as it goes that way. And it's going to get brighter and brighter as it goes to the left. If the light's coming from that way and let's see where I'm going with this black and some brown. Here. Right. This is the darkest spot. Actually, I'm going to get some straight up black. Just pure black. Maybe this will help it stand out a little bit better. Maybe some blue and black even to make it darker. Right here. And I'm just popping the dark in the areas that I think it should be in. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm just thinking like where, if you're looking, you know, if you're standing out here in the forest and you're looking at this tree right here, you know, where is the darkest value is going to be if the light's coming from, from the left. I'm just thinking of like different little areas, trying to be like super, being like loose is really uh, beneficial <clears throat> for me doing this. Okay. Pop some dark there. Okay, boy, that whole damn tree just changed, didn't it? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see where we're going. All right, all right, all right. I need a brighter color there, so that'll definitely separate that. Take some, uh, some brown, uh, yellow ochre, and some white. And... Just want it to be noticeable. Drag some of that color back a little bit, leave some separations in it. Make this a little bumpy there so it's not perfectly straight. All right, now <clears throat> what do I want to do? I want to, I want to put a little. We got to put a. I want to put a a little bit of an indication of a shadow inside. There's probably what I would do if I was making a video. White, blue, black, brown calls it. Very dark, dark blue, brown, black shadow. So I want to just wipe even that much off. Okay, and, and let me see how this is going to look. It's coming that way. Shadow is going to be here. Just a little, couple little slices of this, or I don't think it'll look right. Yeah. See how that looks. Let me step back. Um, you guys would probably be a better judge than me. Tell me what it what you see from there because it looks I mean it looks like what I'm trying to do I see that you know but you'd be better to tell me right then I'm just taking a quick look here to see if there's anything else I would want to don't really want to do the pretty color though see how this looks maybe add a few more highlights I wonder how many of you guys would try something like this. I'd be interested to know. Be anxious. Uh, it's a pretty you know, fun but easy little painting. To do and you can take your time on it or whatever. It was fun, like taking my time with this. 
actually enjoyed it. And I didn't think I was going to. That's a, that's a fact. I'm trying to separate a few little bright areas, you know. One there. Psh, get it down. Work it. Oh, too much. Black. A little bit of that sky showing through. The last thing I probably wouldn't do, a little moss on it or something, and, uh, whatever the this, but it's going to be more of a green color. Green, black. Yeah, this look. Okay. Um, it's probably important. To add some so it looks like it matches. I don't know. Let's see how this looks. I feel like the angles are definitely important for sure. That looks right. Right there. Or it sticks out a little bit more here. See, that's what I love about the doing highlights because you could really have at it. <clears throat> there. You know, I don't have a little like a liner brush or whatever, but if I did, I'd probably put a few like uh, little tiny, tiny uh, baby branches in. Maybe I can add one or two with um, with this here. Let me see if I can do that real quick. Maybe just like something right there to back side in. Back around. Bring in there. Let's see. It's hoping to make a little tiny branch, maybe. I don't want to do too much up here because I don't know that's going to look. Pop a few things in though. You want to look like a uh, little branches going through. Hmm. Straighten that up a little bit. That's easily fixable with a little blue. A little blue. You know, just like little details or whatever. Yep. All right. Now, quickly, uh, just to fix that real quick, just, you know, simple. A little bit of blue. Dark, dark, dark blue, black. A little bit of brown in there, I guess. It's a lot of mud at this point. Mud and you know it's very I had this the other day. It's very weird when you stand out of and like look through the window because I'm not at home. I'm at, at the, I'm at my studio. Weird. Very uncomfortable, especially during the time we're in. I'm like, oh man, am I gonna get you know beat up when I go outside? <laughs> you see how easy that was to fix? Just look a little of that blue in the back, and then if you had to put brown or whatever. I think this is like a really good, I think this is a really good picture to try just for fun. I mean, wouldn't worry about, uh, you know, too much. It's, it's, it's really basic. I took a lot of time on this, but it was, you know, I had a lot of fun doing this. Just one last thing. I'm going to put a little bit of bright. 
yellow and brown in it. I'm going to brighten up this one little area right now. It's coming right here. And just to make it look a little bit different, you know, not the whole area, but maybe just that right there. Um, Plan that a little bit. I mean, truthfully, I could just keep going on this. I could just keep going with this. A lot of fun. I'm glad I did this today. Glad I did this today. Hey, Bram. How you doing, man? Thanks, dude. Thank you, sir. blue there just gonna drop a little blue in here too just to tie it all together I guess you know if if anybody does if anybody ends up making something like this um, with one brush like this is probably pretty close to a I think like a Bob Ross half inch flat brush or something like that so you know super super close Super close, um, but uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm looking out the uh, window again. But uh, yeah, now I'm pretty much, uh, I, you know, I don't have a liner, so I can't put any smaller, smaller things in. Just hang on one second, guys. <clears throat> Hold on. It's out a little bit. Oh, wow I'm actually like <clears throat> excuse me I shouldn't say this but I'm like I'm like half impressed with this well you know considering it's acrylic oh let me show you what kind it is so the this is a Grumbacher uh, uh, Grumbacher Academy acrylics I gotta put Grumbacher hmm. I think I might buy some of this so uh yeah that's it guys i'm gonna end this i'm gonna go home and get some sleep because i'm really really tired and uh you know thanks for hanging out and stuff and sounds like there's you know there's a, a bunch of other people gonna be doing live streams um i think bram had like a schedule he was you know setting up so i think that's going to benefit everybody make sure you guys tune in to everybody if you're not a member on the bob ross page head over there and uh, a lot of information so i'm gonna head on out of here i'm extremely tired Thanks for hanging. Guys, uh, let you know. Take care. I'm going to end this.